According to the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child, every child has the right to an education. And Article 43 of the Afghan Constitution states, education is the right of all citizens of Afghanistan. Decades of conflict has meant that going to school was more of a dream than a reality for children who live in Afghanistan. With a shortage of schools and teachers, children had little chance of obtaining an education. For the children who lived in remote areas, these shortages were even more prevalent. Too often, this lack of education kept children at home. Things are changing in Afghanistan. The Afghan government is committed to rebuilding its education system. With support from countries such as Canada, more Afghan children can attend school. Consider that in 2001, only 700,000 students attended school, and none of them were girls. Today, there are more than 6 million children in school, one-third of them girls. In 2001, as few as 700 schools were open in all of Afghanistan. Ten years later, there are over 10,000 public schools operating in Afghanistan. Canada has supported improving the quality of education nationwide through updated infrastructure, teacher training, and alternative schooling. With more female teachers trained, more girls can now attend schools. Today, there are over 150,000 new teachers. Approximately one-third of them are female. In smaller or rural communities, where larger schools are not an option, community-based schools have been set up. As of 2011, these one- or two-room schools, set up in community spaces, have allowed 120,000 Afghan children to attend community-based schools, especially girls who live in rural and remote areas and often cannot travel to other communities unaccompanied. These results mean great things for the children of Afghanistan. With the knowledge that education can lift a person out of poverty, improve health, and empower people to be more active citizens, it is encouraging to know that Afghan children are heading off to school in record numbers. Looking forward, Canada will continue its focus on education, working to support educational improvements for Afghans, especially women and girls.